I'm about to get changed and start my morning workout and it just occurred to me how diet and fitness is related to making money online. The principles for fitness success are the same for internet success. Let me explain. First of all, it requires effort. The mantra of bodybuilding is no pain, no gain. In other words, if you want to get in shape, it's going to require some effort on your part. The same can be said for making money online. This vlog isn't going to update itself. I need to put forth the effort to build it and take care of it during its growing stages. I personally feel that working out requires more effort than vlogging. Some will disagree and say it requires a different type of effort, like exercise requires physical while vlogging is more mental. That, 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 that may be. However, you can hire someone to produce videos for you. Uh, you can't hire anyone to exercise for you. <laughs> well, I, I guess you can, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, number two, you have to keep at it. One of the biggest reasons for my online success is I'm consistent at it. I make sure the blog is always updated with at least one new blog post every day. You, you can't be an on-again, off-again blogger. Uh, I try to do the same with my YouTube channel. This is why I'm in this 90-day uh, video challenge. The same also applies to diet and fitness. You won't see any result after one or two workouts. You have to keep at it. Now, during the start of the, uh, the new year, You'll see a ton of people that will go to the gym for their New Year's resolution. Uh, unfortunately, uh, most of them will be gone within a week. What's worse, they'll be stupid enough to uh, keep their membership going because uh, they'll think they'll go back someday. You know, I, I guess gym owners, they love those kind of members. You know, they, they buy membership and they never go back. Now, it can take up to a year before you start seeing the fruits of your internet marketing efforts. Fortunately, you won't have to wait that long to see the results from diet and exercise. However, you'll see nothing from either if you don't keep at it. Uh, number three, you will hit a plateau. Uh, this happens a lot in weight training. As you continue to you know, work out, you'll get stronger and you can lift more weight. However, you will come to a point where you can't get any higher because your body will hit a plateau. Hitting a plateau is also quite common in the internet as well. Uh, your business starts and it grows at a nice rate, but then traffic and income will, will stall at a certain point. The way to break through a weight training plateau is to mix things up and try new things. This is how you break through an in, this is how you also break through an income earning plateau as well. For example, uh, my online income hit a plateau a few years back. I was stuck at $40,000 per month. The solution was to completely rethink the sales funnel and add high-end top-tier products for Mo. These days, my income is six figures per month and I work less than I did five years ago. Uh, fourth reason, fourth, there are no shortcuts. When it comes to internet marketing and working out, Many people will try shortcuts, whether it's some miracle pill or some get-rich-quick scheme. The results are usually always the same. It doesn't work. There are no shortcuts in this business. Anyone who tells you they are, or they're lying, or they're just after your money. And lastly, it gets easier over time. While there are no shortcuts, you can take comfort in knowing that making money online and personal fitness gets easier over time. This is especially true with exercise. The first week at it, your body is aching all over. <laughs> but by the second week, you're feeling much better. While making money on the internet may give you a headache from time to time, if you stick at it and you never quit, you will see results from it just like you would if you hit the gym every single day. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. See you guys in a bit. All right, let's get changed and do this. One hour. Ooh, 
begin. Let's begin. I received my first postcard from France. Uh, it says, greeting from France. Look, your next car. Two cats for Widget, uh, a Labrador for Sally, and a big house in Provence for your wife. <laughs> so th this came from uh, James. And James, uh, he's, he, runs a, he runs the vlog or the video site, the YouTube channel called La Famous Video. Which stands for the famous video, I believe that's what it translates to in French, you know, French to English. The famous video. So, uh, uh, James, thank you very much. But uh, uh, I doubt this would be my next car because, uh, A, uh, they don't make that here. <laughs> is that a Volkswagen? I don't know what this is, but it's cool. Thank you very much. A, a 3D postcard. Sally likes it. Widget likes just like the scratch on it. And my wife says she wants to go to Provence. So maybe this summer uh, we will take a trip to Provence and... And check it out. Yeah, spend a month down there. It's awesome. Great. In the meantime, uh, I'll check out La Famous Video and see the video he made. Uh, he thought about joining the 90 video challenge, but apparently he chickened out because he feels he can't maintain a video a day for 90 days. Which, uh, hmm, I think you could if you really try. I love spicy food. While other people snack on chips or nuts, I like to snack on Jalapeno peppers. Mm. Oh, just the right amount of heat. When anything above jalapeno, a little trouble with like the habanero getting, yeah, a little hot, but the jalapeno is the perfect level of heat that I like. Uh, beyond that, well, you just burn your tongue, so forget that. You want to have flavor as well as a good level of heat. Let me show you guys a little technique to uh, get more traffic and backlinks to your blog. It's called the Expert Roundup. What you do is you make a list of 20, 30, 50 experts that you feel that in your niche, in this case, like 50 experts reveal three reasons to get an Apple Watch. Right? So uh, I found out about this because this person, the owner of Find the Decision, sent me an email asking me you know, for that interview question. He asked me, here's a question. Uh, I'm doing an expert roundup, and these are some of the people who have so far participated. So doing some name dropping there. And he, he wants to ask me like, give me three reasons why you would get an Apple Watch, and he would like me to submit it to him to be included in his expert roundup. So it's only three short reasons, doesn't have to be super long or anything like that. So it only takes a few minutes out of my time and he identified me as an expert. And of course, you know, people love to be known as an expert. So naturally I reply and I sent them my reason. And shortly after he published the article, he sends me the uh, a email and says, hey, I have done it. Here is the article. Uh, if you send me the link to it, if you want to share it, you know, keyword, you want to share with your followers, maybe blog about it, feel free to do so. So I click on it, and sure enough, see, there I, uh, whoop, there's me. He, so what he does is he puts a picture of me, links to my blog, so he's giving me a back link, and he gives my answer, which is very, very short. <laughs> That's my answer right there. Like, it took me a minute to write. And then he had a little comment. Now, he did this with over 50 other bloggers and experts so, uh, that he identified. So now that he's published the article, he sends this, he sends his article link to every one of these bloggers here and all these bloggers and some of them all run some pretty sizable blog. And what he's counting on is some of these bloggers will then share it with their followers. They'll add it to their on Facebook or they'll like the article or they'll send it to their social media following and that will send him more traffic, free traffic, and it'll give him links and give him back links as well. And some, if you look at some of the, uh, the people that reply, some of them run Pretty sizable blog, like I believe I saw, uh, let's see, it's Mashable. Basically, yeah, he got Mashable to uh, to actually imply nuts about technology. Uh, Ars Technica, I mean, that is a huge, huge tech site. I mean, so this writer will probably like it. He'll say, hey, here's what I say. So I could do it like, here's, here's an example. Here's, I would, I would, if I like it, I would click the tweet and I would tweet this out for him and send it to my hundred thousand Twitter followers or you know maybe perhaps share my Facebook timeline that's what he's hoping right now so he's going so I'll share it on my Facebook it goes to him 50 article and I'm gonna say I say hey 
I'm one of the experts. I'm one of the experts, you know, stroking my own ego here, you know, like that. And I'll post this on Facebook and it'll go to my Facebook followers, the 29,000 people who like me on Facebook. If they see the article, they click on it, or the 100,000 people on Twitter, they like it, they click on it. It gives this guy more traffic and hopefully he's hoping 50 of the other experts will also do the same thing. And that's just one great way to get free traffic and free black links to your blog. And it, only, it, won't, it won't cost you anything. It's a bit of work. I mean, you do have to email, you have to identify and email all of these experts. And then you have to follow up to, uh, you know, because oftentimes the first time they, they, you email them, they may not reply. Like, uh, I didn't reply the first time. And he, but he was, he was forthcoming. He made email a second time and said, hey, you know, I'm about to publish the article. I would really like to have, include you. So if you can, it only take you a minute or two to answer it, please do. And I did. And now I'm in the expert roundup and he's getting free traffic, leveraging a whole bunch of other sites to get traffic to his own site. So I uh, hope that helps you guys. Uh, do try it out. It, it, it's really quite cool. The SpaceX flight from yesterday was for all purposes a total success, except for two mistakes or two errors. Uh, the first one is well, the, the two side rockets landed back, but the, the main rocket, it, it missed its target on the drone ship Apparently what happened was they, they said it ran out of propellant, it ran out of rocket fuel, and as a result, it coming down, it, came, it fell. It fell down at 300 miles an hour, hit the water, completely missed the drone ship, sent shrapnel all over the place. Uh, so, yeah, well, that, that's probably why, you know, the camera went back, the shrapnel probably hit the camera and blew it out. And the, the, the second thing is that the Tesla Roaster that they launched into space to Mars, a little miscalculation, it's going to overshoot Mars and it's going to head for the asteroid belt, so... Uh, <laughs> but overall, good job, it was, it was great. And uh, uh, I guess the Tesla Roaster that's on its way to the asteroid belt now is technically the fastest car ever made, 25,000 miles an hour. So uh, Bugatti Chiron, you're nothing. Got this uh, reply email to one of my autoresponders from Stephen James. Stephen James writes, seriously John, you sending me these emails yet you can't help me. I think money went to your head and you forgot where you came from. Now this is an email basically thanking him for downloading my ebook and hope he enjoys it. And that's, yeah, just an autoresponder and, and he replies back, so I don't really know uh, what Stephen here is requesting of me. I do have an idea. First of all, he says, I can't help him. Uh, what do you think the email is for? The, these autoresponder emails are designed to help you live the .com lifestyle. So, uh, like, like when, you, when, when Stephen says, help him, what does he expect me to do? His email is very common to a type of email I get, and I just call it the, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, I call it the begging email. Basically, uh, what, the, what these people are asking is not really for my help. I mean, they're not really asking about it. What they're asking me is basically just do it all for me and then give me the money. Because I have thousands of people watch, you know, on my channel. I have hundreds of thousands of readers on my blog. I get questions all the time where people are asking me for help. So how do they decide who I help? It's very, very simple. I help the serious people. When you get serious, I will help you. Last week, last Wednesday, Sai and I went to this ramen restaurant. And uh, it was really, really good. I, I did film it while we were there. So I'm gonna end the vlog by showing you guys the, uh, <laughs> the, the, ramen, the ramen dinner at this ramen restaurant. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll end it with that. And uh, enjoy the video. I hope you got value from my little workout inspiration and my little thing about being serious, all right? I help people who are serious, all right? And uh, yeah, that's what it. But uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to learn how to live the outcome lifestyle, 21 step system, links below this video, as well as my free ebook, download a copy. You haven't already got one. So, see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the ramen noodle house. Sally, look. Tunnel. Tunnel. Come in! Idiot! <laughs>
it's such a beautiful day today. I mean, I know that it's supposed to be winter time. Well, this is winter time in California. 72 degrees right now. Yeah, my mom told me it was going to be cold today. I yeah. wore two layers of pants. <laughs> I had to take one off. <laughs> Sally wore two layers of pants because mom said it's going to be cold. <laughs> All right, let's go. So this way, right? No, it's there. All right, yeah, this is the place. We're going in here. Alright, put it in down. Chow. Two. Man, this place is busy. We put our name down and now we're waiting for them to call our name. And so far they have called like five groups before us. But it's going pretty fast, I suspect. Hopefully only uh, another five or ten minutes. So this is a really noisy place, as you can hear. So. How we choose it and how this works, we order what we want. Hello. Would you like any drink to begin with? Uh, Diet Coke. Diet Coke? What do you want, Sally? The drink. Can I have Coke? Coke? Okay. What? Oh, yeah, we'll diet start with Diet Coke and okay. we'll decide. Okay, thank you. All right, so we order what we want here and we check it off and then we just give it to them and, and then they, they, they make it. So, because this is the place uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name because Shin. Didn't say, uh, Sally, any idea? I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name, but yeah, this is the name. <laughs> All right, there you go. So I guess I have a regular you have to have. Okay, so yeah. I can't get over how busy this place is. I mean, look at it. It's like BCD. It's like BCD. Every single seat is full. And it's so people waiting outside and adding the name to the list. So these are the condiments I ordered with my ramen. These are really good. This is uh, like uh, garlic chips. Deep fried garlic chips. Sally likes them too. This is a, a flavor egg. I thought it was soft boiled, but I guess last time I had a soft boiled one, but this time it's not. And this is a uh, bamboo. So yeah, I'm gonna put them in my ramen. It's gonna be really good. All right, here it is. So the standard, the standard bowl comes with ramen, char siu, uh, some veggies, and Sally, one, she just got a half size one, and with a char siu, none of that green stuff, and she had took half my egg. So I'm gonna add my other stuff onto it. Oh, yeah, my egg and my bamboo. There you go, that is a good looking ramen. Why this place is so popular? The ramen is, is really, really good, and it's, it's really, really authentic. It tastes yeah. just like when I was in Japan. So, anyway, they have uh, they have multiple locations. This is one in Irvine, but they have location in LA as well. So if you're ever in the Orange County, LA area, go check them out. Like I said, I, I won't try to pronounce the name, but this is it. Okay, so like, ready to go? You finished everything, that's great. You rarely finish everything, but I guess you like this place. All right, let's get out of here. This place says goodbye to you in a strange way. Thank you. Thank you. What do they say, Sai? You understand Japanese? They're saying it too fast and they're screaming it. They're saying it too fast? Well, what do you think they say? They're saying thank you. They're saying thank you, huh? Yeah. So, the whole the whole place screams thank you when we leave in Japanese. Or oh, they might be swaying at us, who knows? Oh, sorry, you forgot your thing. Look at that. You almost forgot your bag. Good thing they found it. <laughs>